Hi everyone, my name is Prithvi from Informatica's GCS and today we will be talking about how to create custom model in CDGC. The agenda is to learn about custom metadata integration, what are the steps to configure the custom model, how to prepare a custom metadata source and the demo. Custom metadata integration is applicable for the source system for which CDGC does not provide connectors by default. Now, to configure a custom catalog source, there are two ways. First is by using the metadata definition files and other is the cloud data integration. The workflow for the custom metadata integration looks like this. If you want to create a custom model, the first thing we'll be doing is to update the custom model definition file. We will be importing that and publishing the custom model. Once it is published, we will be creating a custom catalog source type. For example, a database type, a file type like that. Once we have the catalog source type created, we will be downloading and updating the metadata definition files as per the use case that in turn will be used to create the custom catalog source. And then we can simply run the custom catalog source. To create a custom model, let's go to CDGC. The first thing we'll do is go to MCC tab and then go to customization, metadata models. Now we will download the template. The model template, let me open the file. The model template will give you the details on how do you specify the package name, classes, the attributes, associations, etc. So once you have uh, filled this uh, JSON template as per the use case we will upload it under MCC customization tab using this option now if you want to use the existing system model we can also do that for example if you want to use the uh, power center system model you can download the template from here now I have already filled a, a JSON uh, template that I will be uploading so we will choose the file and we will give the package name now to know the package name uh, it is the same thing that you will specify in the json file this would be the value so i'll select my package name and i will hit on create my model is created successfully now you need to publish this model in order to create a catalog source type The job would be in progress and once this is finished, we can we can see that this uh, demo custom model would be published. You can also view the status of the job. The published job is completed and now we can go back to the model. Let's refresh this. It is now published. You can also verify that the classes, the associations are coming as expected, uh, the attributes. So all these can be verified here. Uh, so now since we have created uh, the model successfully, the next step is to create the custom uh, catalog source type. Now the major thing that we need is the metadata model file to create the custom catalog source. To get that, we will click on download template metadata and then select the custom model that you just created. Hit on download. It will download the metadata model file zip and that zip file would contain the list of links.csv and object.csv files. You have to update the attributes uh, under the objects.csv file and the way these objects are related, the relationships can be updated in the links.csv file. Once, once done, let's create the custom catalog source type. You can give the description if you want and hit on save. Now click on new. You should be able to select the source type that you just created. Hit on create. Now this is actually we are creating the custom catalog source. Give the name. 
Now here we will be selecting the metadata source type as CSV files since we have the updated metadata files with us. We can either upload those files or provide the local path where the files are present. If you are uploading the file, click on browse and the updated file zip can be selected here. Once selected, you can now hit next. The metadata met extraction part is already selected. You can select the data classification or glo glossary association as per requirement and click on save. Once saved, you can now run your custom catalog source. After the scan is complete, you can review the scanned results in the data governance and catalog page. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.